What's up ladies and gentlemen? This is the Mercedes AMG GLS 63 Formatic Plus and it is the biggest, baddest, most brutal AMG you can buy in my opinion. I mean just look at this thing. If you buy this car, you drive this car around, you're just telling everyone that you don't care about anything anyone thinks. Today I'm going to show you around it. We're going to take a look at the spec of course but we can be pretty quick about that. It's just black on black on black. So the GLS is as I said the biggest baddest AMG. It is a seven seater as standard but you can go for a six seater version uh, as an option which this car is. So you have two captain's chairs in the middle basically and then a third row which is standard. And then this car also has the optional 23 inch AMG wheels, absolutely massive with Pilot Sport 4S Michelin tires around that, which you also get if you go for the bigger wheel. 400 millimeter AMG steel brakes behind that to stop this two and a half ton, just over two and a half ton car. I mean, look at this front with that Panamericana grille. It just looks so badass, so freaking mean and imposing. Big air intakes here as well in the grill with radiators behind that. And of course, this Panamericana grill on this car is even more aggressive and angry than it normally is on other AMGs. So the Formatic Plus is unlike, you know, on the E63S where you've got drift mode, it just means that it's active and that it can send power to whichever wheel at any point uh, with a maximum of 50% to the front. So it is normally basically a rear wheel driven car and then when it needs to, it can send up to 50% to the front. So it also has an electronic limited slip diff at the rear as standard, the AMG. And we've got active suspension, active damping, active engine mounts, active anti-roll bars all to stop the car from rolling too much and to control that weight in the corners and uh, all that stuff basically stiffens up in the corners so the car doesn't roll too much uh, so all these things stiffen up in the corners so it doesn't roll too much and then when you go straight again everything unhooks basically that's mainly the NTE roll bars and the engine mounts uh, so when you go straight, it unhooks, it relaxes, and it absorbs everything again. So it's a really smart system. So boot space of course is limited if you have the rear seats up, but if you have them down, you have like 890 liters. So that is nice exhaust as well. AMG in black, of course, part of the bumper. It's not a real exhaust, basically. You can see the real one in there. Doesn't sound that good. It is a problem with these uh, AMGs, the, the 63s, that they don't sound that good on full load. Four liter V8 by turbo engine here, as you probably know, with 612 horsepower, 850 newton meters of torque. But this is the EQ Boost version, so it has an additional boost of 22 horsepower and it does 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.2 seconds, which is very, very quick. Actually, it's outrageously quick for a car of this size and this heavy, it's pretty amazing. show you guys the rear seat. So as I said, we've got these captain's chairs basically. So you can sit with four adults, very, very spacious this. And then you've got the two rear seats for kids basically. But this is four adults plus two kids easily. And then you do of course sacrifice your boot space 
So interior wise, they absolutely nailed this. So I think the Mercedes GLE and GLS interiors are so good because they feel like a true SUV inside. You sit in it, not on top of it. You have this high center console, which I think is a key thing in SUVs and you have a high dash. So you sit here and you feel like you've got that massive bonnet in front of you, which is very high. And then you have your armrest here, you have your handles here. It, it just is a very, very nice interior. I really like it. This car also has the Burmester Audio carbon fiber trim. And of course, we've got the two screen setup, which after I don't know how many years, I still find utterly used to use. It, it, I, I know where everything is. I know how everything works, but still after all these years, still don't like it. That's it. We've got a massive panoramic roof as well, which we've got closed for the most part because of the weather. As you can see, it is 45 degrees outside. So it is really, really hot. So the starter motor is also part of that mild hybrid 48 volt stuff. Uh, so it's super, super quiet and you can also use the coasting and it basically decouples the entire drivetrain and you're just gliding, sailing to save fuel. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. Anyway, nine speed gearbox, put it in first gear. Alrighty, so let's take it for a drive towards the Autobahn and uh, see what it feels like because we don't really need a twisty road to make this car shine. It is at its best when you're not extracting everything from it. When you just leave it in comfort, maybe open the exhaust, of course that is nice. And you just have that V8 with that incredibly comfortable air suspension, even though we've got these 23 inch massive wheels. You do feel it sometimes on like potholes and stuff like that. You can feel that it's a big wheel. All right, so at the Autobahn, let's hit Sport Plus. Brake launch, don't have launch control in this car. So little boost and then let it go. Oh, you do get quicker shifts. So the car does know that you want a launch. And I'll do it super obvious so you can see how long it takes for it to kick down. All right, so bicycle dude is going to overtake the other slow Dutch guy. And then we are going to go in three, two, one. <laughs> oh my God, what is it, 1999? I think our 1999 S class has about the same kick down time. That is just ridiculous. Why is it taking that long to think about which gear it should select? So we might have a bit of luck here, a bit of space. It just keeps going. Man, that is seriously impressive. Honestly, this is a big heavy car and it just is relentless. 290 speedo, 291. I mean, that is pretty impressive, right? Just the invincible feeling you get when you sit here. The sound, the looks, the presence, the character, and the speed are all so, so nice. It's such a cool combination of different AMG things and then wrapped into this massive, really, I mean, that is, this is a really good car to take on holiday.